with Julie Bettacini and we are here to tell you a little bit more about dog safety because I don't know if uh, you realize but there are lots of dogs that drown every year and being in Florida we have pools we have lakes um, they're estimating that it could be 400,000 dogs a year that drown so um, and a lot of that doesn't you know they don't get reported because you know they you know people mourn in their own ways and it's something that most of the time can be completely prevented. Uh, there, there are certain breeds that obviously swim better than others. Um, Julie's dog has nice webbed feet. Uh, <laughs> they're yes, we very did, good swimmer. <laughs> we did bring Ellie. Um, she's a little crazy right at the moment. So, Ellie, sit. We were talking about webbed feet. Well, <laughs> Ellie's lucky enough to have the biggest paws in the business. Right. Um, she's like the My Michael Phelps of yeah. dogs. But not all dogs were born to swim, as you no. know, and that was one of the reasons we thought we would want to do a video like this because some people buy breeds and they don't know and they just right. go throw them in the pool because they think it's a fun and it's hot and it's Florida, so let's cool off. And the next thing you know, you've got a, you know, a situation on your hands. Right, right. And it's, um, you know, you, some breeds, even if they're not swimmers, you, you've got, you know, there's, they, they can be taught or at least taught some emergency strategies, like where the steps are. So even if you don't have a good swimmer, because mm -hmm. um, just not all, all dogs can do it. I mean, little, little pugs and dash hounds and uh, a lot of the little dogs, they get so fatigued and and scared that right. they, they just usually panic and then uh, bulldogs don't have a chance. Most bulldogs um, will sink, just sink quick. Quick, because so, their body, you know, when you have that much body weight and little tiny legs and, <laughs> and the little snout. We've had, to, we've had <laughs> yes. to jump in before after some friend's dogs yes. that, um, you know, just weren't meant to swim right. and go overboard and the next thing you know, you know, <laughs> you want to get in the pool, aren't you? I know. A We're gonna, more minutes. We are going to show Sit you that, show that in a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, I wanted to show you a couple things that are available um, to help you. Uh, now, I don't always put life vests on my dogs when I'm in the pool. Sometimes I'll just try to you know, just hold on to them and just show them where the steps are. But they really don't even enjoy that. They'd much, much rather be in the air conditioning. But we do go on the boat. I like to have, it, have them on because the water's so murky and I feel like if they did fall over, I wouldn't be able to grab them easily. And so the, um, I like the bright colors with the straps. Um, I think they're easy to easy to grab them if you need to, and you can see them better. Uh, same thing with with older dogs too. Even if you have a, a dog that has swam in the past, they when, as they get older, they might not be as um, with arthritis and everything else, might not be as able to. So, <laughs> the more things you can do to try to help your dog um, be able to uh, yeah, be uh, be a better swimmer, either, either the, the pool or the lake. Um, one of the other the big things that we worry about is. You know, I don't think a lot of people realize that they, they don't always, it's not always that they're mean to go in the pool. Sometimes they just slip and fall. And so it's probably not a good idea to leave your dogs outside um, around a pool area if they're not good swimmers. Um, and even if they are good swimmers, I wouldn't recommend it. It's like, it's like the candle thing, you know, it's just like, right. a, it probably won't start a fire, but why, why take the risk? Um, the, you know, dogs, most dogs are, are pretty good swimmers, but you know that an accident can happen. And if it does, you know, it's just it's a horrible thing to have to go through. So she's um, a great swimmer. We still put up a child safety fence so that right. they can't swim unless we're supervising. We're right, right. there um, because, as you said, accidents can happen and you just never know. They could get disoriented or and we would never want anything to happen, you know, when we weren't home. Right. Right. So. And this is really especially important this time of year because it is hot in Florida. <laughs> And uh, a lot of people think that that's the best way to cool them down, which all dogs are different. Um, and we want to talk about some other pool yeah. safety items. Yeah, yeah, some people even with the heat, um, they love frozen mm. peanut butter, keeping them cool. There's a lot of products out there that are cool coats and cool mats that'll last up to three days. Um, 
she's just so excited to swim in the pool. But, um, and also, a lot of people don't even realize, forgetting about pool, just how hot it is out there. So if it's 78 degrees in Florida, which is nothing, that's springtime and winter for us. Right, right. If you go to the grocery store and leave your dog in the car, that will get up over 100 degrees within 10 minutes. Right. And your dog can die. So you think you're going in for a quick jug of milk, and literally, especially here in Florida, it is so dangerous. And also... And, and on pavement, right? right? On pavement, what, That equates to 130 degrees on the pavement. So there are fun products out there that you Little can... <laughs> this This summer, especially, it has been so hot without any rain to cool anything off. So it's really just been one of those <laughs> times where we actually start to look at products like that that might help your dog from getting blisters or burning their feet because it is it is real. And they pets are people too. So Megan and I wanted to make sure that we talked about some of these things so that um, this <laughs> summer is a fun one for your dogs. It's safe. And um, ultimately, we, we want to make sure that this is the only way they cool off is panting. And right. so to put a fan on them doesn't work like it does for a human in a car. It doesn't cool them down. They do need internal, an ice block, a frozen popsicle, um, obviously wet and, and some of the cool products that we've talked about. Right, right. So shall we show, uh, show some swimming lessons? Are you, <laughs> are you anxious to, to go? Now you can teach dogs how to swim. One of the right. things that we were told by our breeder is take them in a bathtub, get them used to the water when they're young, mm -hmm. especially if you get them in the winter and it's not swimming season. Just let them get used to it and really feel their feet on the ground. Take them in, especially if you have pools with, you know, the ledges. Um, those are also helpful because they can always touch the ground and feel much safer. So right. let's give it a whirl. Well, I love the, um, if you, the newer pools have those nice sun, you know, the sun, sun shelves. Yeah, sun shelves are really nice for dogs to be able to get out of the pool. But these steps, we can uh, we still work with those. So yeah, we'll go try that. <laughs> Thank you. Let's give it a whirl. <laughs>